Uh, hello and welcome back. So in the last video um, I showed how to retrieve the uh, five-day and three-hour forecast but as you can see we have this uh, huge array of 40 um, items inside of it uh, and that's because we have the three-hour forecast here so as you can see uh, it's uh, uh, February 18th at midnight, and this one is going to be February 18th at 3 in the morning. So let's do a little bit of arithmetic. So we know this is going to be every 3 hours. Each element is going to be separated every 3 hours, and the day has 24 hours. So 24, uh, uh, and then you divide it by 3, is going to be 8. So we can tell that if we go to the eighth position in an array is going to be a different day so again February 18th at midnight let's go to the eighth position we have February 19th at midnight let's check our 16th position we have February 20th awesome so how are we going to jump eight positions in an array well, what we're going to do is we're going to use a for loop. And here we create a let i equal to zero. i has to be lower than data dot list dot length. And in here we're going to increment i by 8. Perfect. So um, let's create a temporary uh, variable. So we're going to have const. I want to call this temporary so you don't confuse temp with temperature. Let's put some context. This is going to be a new forecast. Uh, remember because right now uh, CD forecast is an empty array. So what you have to do is put data that list in position i and what we have to retrieve right now according to my class is day. So to retrieve day we're going to go to uh, dt um, underscore text et underscore text so uh, don't forget that we need four uh, four, uh, actually, four properties inside of this so this is one this is two three and four uh, the next one is going to be our icon. So we need data that list i and now we have to go to I think it was in the weather. Yeah, in our weather array in position zero that has an object inside, and we're gonna go to icon. Again, list position i. Uh, we need to look for ten max and ten min, and I think those were in the system. No, those were in main. Yeah. So we're gonna go to main, and here we have ten mats. Now what we have to do is each time we retrieve uh, so this is going to get one element of the array at a time. So what we need to do is we're going to push all we get into our CD forecast array. 
So here, city forecast. Um, city forecast. Push. And we're going to push temporary. Right. So let's console log our uh, this city forecast. If we did everything right, we're going to get uh, five elements. So let's save this. Uh, refresh if you're patient enough. You can let this refresh itself. I'm not a patient person. Uh, so let's go again with San Francisco. Perfect. So now we have our uh, five element array. And here we have uh, uh, February 18th. February 19th and February 20th 21st 22nd five days this is awesome uh, in the next video I'm going to show you what uh, one of my favorite um, directives and Angular 2 so instead of having uh, five five lives uh, will only have one that will repeat itself so uh, if you have any questions uh, leave a comment below uh, and then uh, if not I'll see you in the next video